All right, folks, the deck is Lorthamar Cthune Shaman. The goal of the deck is to play Lorthamar in the early game so that it can double the stats of both our Cthune and our Shutterwalk so that when we go infinite with Shutterwalk, it will repeat that effect and either double up his stats for future Shutterwalks or massively, massively enhance the stats of our Cthune. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle or here on YouTube. All right. Deck intro done. Quick reminder, if you're enjoying the stream, or if you want to see more raffle YouTube streams, like the stream. Uh, that will send a signal to YouTube that uh, it should recommend these streams to you in the future, because they can be hard to find. And it'll help other people find the stream, so I'd appreciate it if you did that. Hey, welcome, Marcio. Mauricio, sorry. Isn't there an only buff minions in deck? You're right. We should probably add a um, Baleful Banker. Let's actually do a quick change. That's Time to eat. Because I don't know how to read uh, Lorthamar. Okay, so Zola seems less important now. I think I go down one ice fishing because the Gorlock kind of does some of the draw. And then add a couple bankers. Problem solved. Hey, welcome, Peter. You are not late. You actually arrived uh, just at the beginning of the stream. Welcome, Enki. Alright, here's the deck code, but it is the outdated version because I don't have a way to quickly get the new version. So, just make the same changes I did. Alright, we just always keep the Lorthamar, right? It would be cowardly to mulligan him otherwise, right? Hey, welcome, Bladen. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Glad you uh, made it to a live stream. Yep. Armor, armor, Timothy, thank you for uh, two months at tier two. Not sure why the alert didn't play, but uh, glad, uh, hope you enjoyed this morning's video and thank you for the continued support. Bonk. Job done. Okay. We've got some cards moving at least. Could you use this wing con in an elemental list? Uh I mean you could, but like elemental like it doesn't do much. Because elementals generally play for like battle cry damage to face. And so the stats on the minions doesn't really matter. Ruffle, you look like a policeman. I look like a thumb? I don't know. I, I choose to take offense to that. Go here. Play this to keep the stats rolling, and then we uh, Mutanus next turn. Just so that we can get some semblance of what it is the opponent is doing, aside from hero powering every single turn. Chomp. 
Okay, so it's like a Frost OTK, I would have to guess, but they're they're gonna want to do something soon. <laughs> Maybe a, a Spinly ends up being a little bit better than one of the bankers as well. Just for some redundancy in the shuffling. The timing kind of ends up being weird. Well, let's remove one banker and add a Spinly. I wrote about a policeman about a year ago and got exactly the same answer now, so I'm happy. Well, at least, if I'm, if nothing else, I'm consistent, I guess. Predictable, maybe. But. Hey, welcome, Ollie. Keep this. Um, tempting to keep a Gorlock, uh, but kind of figure that it might be Big Priest right now, right? I don't think Sir Finley is good with Shutterwalk. Okay. I don't... <laughs> uh, I, I, I think that it, it generally has performed pretty well in Shutterwalk, and on top of that, this deck is not your typical Shutterwalk deck, it's looking to do something very specific, which Finley helps with, so. I appreciate uh, your input. Sort of. Hey, welcome, Happy. Is what it, it, it's just undead or reborn priest? Go here and plop a bolner down. Uh, Edwin Van Cleef as a singular minion is a three mana two two. What happened? Sorry, kind of a waste of a Bolner, but like. Bolner isn't terribly relevant in this matchup. And I just kind of need hand space for this play. It looks to me like it's just like medium priest. making mummies priest yeah they're just on a mission to uh discover the quest somehow i showed you my bolner please respond well the opponent did respond unfortunately it seemed like they were pretty uninterested in playing with my bolner just devolve into flurgle talks Roughly, you don't play a mage deck. You're right, I'm playing a shaman deck. Keen observation. Okay. 
chunk. Oh man, we could have seen a world for a Scourge Rager. Uh, I don't think I want to spin this hand back just yet, do I? Because I've got quite a few more things that I want to play, in particular the Murlocs. The big idea of just going Reborn, I think that they're trying to do use make, make use of some of the new um, like undead synergy cards. Unfortunately, they're just now dead. Not undead, but dead. I'm having trouble getting a Bolner. Uh, you should probably contact the doctor. They might be able to help you. And prescribe some uh, additional Hearthstone packs. Why Disco Log doing so good? Uh, because it got new cards that are good. Too good, in fact, and it is now probably not good. Brucon versus Lady Vosh. Only death is colder than the depths. What looks Please, you should play a mage deck, but I want to play this deck. And I just recently played a mage deck, so... I'm gonna continue playing this deck. Why hasn't it been good before? Well, because it didn't have the new cards that made it good. I, that's the same answer to your previous question. I, I, I do not understand the confusion here. Into our strength. Hey, welcome, Ajax. I'm sorry, what? Why? Opponent really likes that snake totem. I don't see code for this deck, then you're g legitimately just not looking. <laughs> it is almost impossible not to find it. While typing into chat where it is pinned to the top. Also, they did the zero mana spells kind of in a weird order. Evolve good. Raffle, would you ever make variety content such as a cooking stream sometime? Probably not, no. Okay. Wait, why preemptively bump then if they're not going to just clean it off? Do they have the uh, chisel? Okay. I'm just going to stop trying to see logic in my opponent's plays right now.
Almost the Tox Fin. All right. Uh, we should be fine here and just uh, full clear next turn with the uh, Flurgle Tox. Hey, welcome, one. I've been climbing the ladder with Big Priest. Careful. That's not something you want to uh, necessarily openly admit. Why are they on a mission to just do everything in the wrong order here? Is that their goal? You're welcome, Calvera. Why do people ask questions when the answers can easily be found in the descriptions? I mean, I wish I knew, to be honest with you. Okay, here comes the anchor totem from hand. Nope. Okay. Well, they did do another thing wrong here. <sighs> this is infuriating. Have you played with chat GPT at all? Relatedly, do you still code at all, or have you let that go? Uh, Timothy, thank you for the uh, super chat. Uh, I haven't had a chance to play with chat, G uh, PT. I, I've been considering looking into it to see if I can make some fun content around it or something. Um, similarly, like, I don't code nearly as much as I uh, used to, but, like, I have a... Nice. Uh, I have a few ideas to potentially incorporate that um, into some fun videos in the future as well. So it's something that I'll probably need to like practice a little bit more. I was doing some practice recently, um, and I just like because I'm out of practice, I'm out of practice. So uh, I could use some. Uh, some additional work before I, like, actually make anything. Alright, look at all of them stats. Should I ask ChatGPT to make a new Hearthstone? Well, what I was going to do is ask it to make me a Hearthstone deck. Or try something along those lines and see what we get, because it couldn't possibly be worse than some of the suggestions that I get from chat, was the idea. Potentially, like, even comparing the two. Caleb! Thank you for the nanner. Appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. I don't think this is a human being that we are... Like, I pray to God that this is not. <laughs> like, there, there's no world in which it could be, right? I refuse to accept that anyone is this uh, brain damaged. What would you think about the devs returning to past mechanics from previous sets like Cthulhu, Inspire, Recruit, etc.? If so, anything in particular? Yeah, I think that like any and all of those would be nice, right? Like, a, what, like if they were ever, which they have talked about doing uh, wild exclusive sets, it would make sense to revisit some of those mechanics, right? And kind of uh, give a boost to maybe some parasitic mechanics of the past that didn't quite 
work out and then um, kind of revamp them. I think that would be interesting to do. I don't have any particular preference for what should be done. Fortunately, for me, I'm not a game designer, so that's not my responsibility. I swear Diamond 5 has the worst players. <laughs> I can assure you that is not the case. Uh, try ranking up a new account. We have turned our curse Even, uh... Haven't seen this in a while. But we should have a decent matchup into it if we can get to a Florgal Tox before they uh, spam too many stats. You literally have one play here. There you go. Wouldn't wild exclusive sets push the power level even faster? Not necessarily. Depends on the power level of the cards that are released, as is the case for any set. The hope would be that it adds some diversity into it by, again, like, rejuvenating archetypes that aren't necessarily played a lot. Or, and focusing on that wouldn't necessarily increase the power level if you buff up unplayed archetypes that are currently very weak. That wouldn't change much. Well, what's one something you can think of that you're confident has never been done before? Um, alchemy. It's honestly one of the best hits possible for me. Almost always get the shutter walk there, right? Just gotta go here and here, I think, until we hit the shutter from them. Let's hold this back so that we can double up either the Lorthamar or... Well, actually no, because I have the Grumble in hand. So I can get these back after uh, 
chowing down on some minions. Pretty good. Sad raffle? Why would I be sad? I'm way ahead right now. Unfortunately, we lost those birds, so... Kind of puts me in a bad spot. Uh, that's actually a pretty good default. <laughs> uh, however, I am kind of in a bad spot now. Twisting Nether commonly run in wild. Uh, no, nothing about this opponent's deck is common for wild. Um, Theotar isn't very common. Reno, even lock, is not common, so. Alright. I just need to hope that I hit the Lorthamar before the uh, Cthune. Maybe I can banker the Lorthamar or the Cthune. really need to draw the uh, Dungeoneer or the Ravager. Is Cthune good in this? I mean, it's literally the thing the deck is built around, so I hope so. Add Yogged into the deck. Uh, come up with a joke that is original and or funny. Please. Is Gen Greymane not active? I mean, it was for the opponent before they gave it to me. Why are you not streaming on Twitch? Uh, because I'm streaming on YouTube. Doesn't matter, this is going to just get eaten by this. I'm sorry, what? Did they just want the eight to face? Is that their priority here? I guess so. Hey, welcome, Sognisman. Back to the even shamans, I imagine. From strife comes opportunity. What lurks beyond the firelight? Okay, snowfall is pretty good into even shaman. What's new in the expansion? Uh, a lot of cards in an entire new class. Yeah, welcome, Parallelogram. Oh, 
Oh, Murlocs. I do not want that uh, Tide Collar scaling. What is the combo with Cthun? Ah, I don't know. There isn't one. You're streaming on both platforms. If you had to pick, would you rather stream on Twitch or YouTube? Um, I don't know. That's why I haven't picked yet. So I'm just enjoying doing both. That's unfortunate. Do they just have all of the spells in hand right now? Question I've had for a while. Disco Lock has been compared to Big Rogue. How does it stack against Seed Lock? I'd imagine something strong enough to get banned, but uh, don't have data on it. Yeah, I don't think we... Because it took a lot longer for them to respond to a Seed Lock than a Disco Lock, I don't think we have quite enough data to make a direct comparison yet. And there's, like, iterative changes on um, Seed Lock. So they're probably... All three of them are extreme outliers from a practical standpoint. Like, the difference is probably not terribly meaningful. Um, but they're all probably, uh, reasonably close. I think maybe Seedlock a little bit ahead of any of those, though. It's going to be interesting when that gets, uh, rotated. I can see Golem Kazaka's fitting in this deck nicely. I couldn't. Uh, that is not a card that really fits into any deck. Especially one with four drops. Hey, welcome, Gato. See, this is how you play a Toxfin. Hey, welcome, Target Practice. Polk be useful in this deck? Uh, yes. I just uh, couldn't find room. Because I didn't want to go Renathal. So that I could get to the combo a little bit faster. The bigger the fins, the bigger the wins. You must preserve the tiny fin. Bandicoot, thank you for the tier one. I think that's another uh, buff spell in hand. Maybe the three mana one if they're doing this. Nope, why are they killing a tiny thing? Do not make me call the lightning. Look at the size of this absolute unit. Yeah, 
Let's check some numbers. Oh, I don't have any spells. Rip. Would Brand fit? Uh, we already have Volner, who is better. And doubling isn't really necessary for the deck. Um, not looking to change the deck any more than I already have. I don't really also want to start this conversation of what about X this card, what about that card? <laughs> oh my god! Look at the size of that. If only we drew the get in there. Honest Hearts. Thank you for the tier one. You think Whizbang is good enough to get Reach Legend? Uh, probably. I mean, most like cohesive decks can probably hit Legend, and uh, even though you're working with standard decks, like they probably are just good enough to get there if you go on a good enough win streak. It'll just take a long time, and it's very far from optimal. Yeah, welcome, Shane. Hmm. We drew the Cthune. Uh, gonna need to find the Spinly here. Here, I have some armor. Not gonna lie, the what about X conversation seems a lot more annoying when it happens live, I'm not getting edited out, I get the frustration better now. I mean, it, like, it's not just that answering the question um, is annoying, it's that, like, it's kind of unfair to the viewers that have been here for maybe an hour or two beforehand and have already heard the conversation about, like, a certain card, right? Like, if I'm talking about Bran six to seven times per hour, that's quite annoying for the people that uh, have been here for that full hour. Oh my god, this hand is not what I'm looking for. Uh, I don't want to hero power into Druid. It crowds my board. It creates uh, like spreading plague issues. Assuming they're running it, it's probably unlikely, but it, it like it just doesn't benefit me at all. It gives them uh, mana from a floop gloop turn. There's just a lot of reasons not to. I don't really want to give up the bird here. I'm just going to coin a Ravager next turn, I think. How often do you get stopped in public? Uh, never. Like the same amount as any any other person. Sweet. Okay. Finally hit our draw engine, it looks like. And, most importantly, we got the, uh, the Spinly, so that we can send some of the important cards to the bottom of our deck. Nice. We'll go here, here, here. Dear. 
This must be the way. Have you stopped posting on Facebook? Uh, because it stopped being worth the time and effort to do so. Um, for a variety of reasons. They're ramping. But to what? We are also ramping. I'm hoping for a world where nobody posts on Facebook ever anymore. Yeah, same. That would be ideal. Who even uses Facebook nowadays? Uh, I mean, your aunt, your grandma. Any idea what deck they're running? No, I'm kind of concerned about... Uh, not necessarily that, but um, I was a little bit like... Ooh. Okay. Wait, are they also a Lorthamar deck? That would be fun. I really need to get these trees off the board. Hey, congrats, Jeffrey. Is it clowns? I'm the brood mother. Don't you ever forget. Either way, I think the freeze effects are going to be beneficial for me. Um, Denathrius might be a bit of a concern. Same with Astalor. I think I have to devolve in order to get a freeze off here. Oh no, infinite mana turn incoming. out some removal here. I think they need a second poison seeds. Although maybe I don't want to see the poison seeds. They don't have a lethal here. But yes I do. They need armor if they want to survive. Because I have Flaggle top. Oh man, we didn't even get to the Cthulhu shenanigans. Stats too strong. I'm gonna grab some coffee. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.
Hey, welcome, Ronnie. Thank you to everybody that stayed. If you did stay, don't forget to like the stream. It'll help you find future YouTube streams and uh, help other people find the stream, so hit that like button. Smash it, even, if you're feeling aggressive. Alright, we want to find uh, as much of our early game card draw as we can. This isn't quite it, so I might just play like a turn one spinly. It, it's bad if I do end up drawing like the... Uh, no, we hold. Uh, I want to save this for if I draw the Shatter Cthulhu. Evolve seems good in this matchup, as is the Flurgal Tox if we can hit it, but we should soon, because I think I go Clownfish into Gorlock over the, uh, nice, okay, not a super high roll, but it is Big Priest. Uh, I want to have the Flurgal Tox available as soon as possible, so I think I go Clownfish into Gorlock. Snowfall is good too. I mean, snowfall. Drawing the snowfall is the reason to play the uh, dungeoneer early. So now I don't have to. Yeah, welcome, Brandon. Double devolve. Good God. Did we hit the flare goal? We did. Nice. Uh, next turn probably just wants to be the Dungeoneer. But I don't have any spells left in my deck. <laughs> it's fine. Do I have any Murlocs left in my deck? The Twin Fin? Draws me one too many cards, right? I have double twin fin and a mutanus. If only I had some warm soup. I could play give up a tox fin if I really wanted to. One day can you make a control lock? Uh I mean I have many times. So that day is uh has passed. I'm sure I probably will again. I want to maintain the, uh... Okay, now I have to give up a Devolve, I guess. This wasn't really well thought through. I'm coming, I'm coming. It's fine. I kind of want to keep the... Like, I don't want to blow them out of the game too badly, because I do need to keep them around for the, the combo turns, right? And they've already got such a slow start. I don't want them to, to leave. Hey, welcome, Josh. Okay, we hit the Cthune, but we have the Finley in hand. Okay. This is fine. Everything's fine. Stop freaking out! Okay, start freaking out. Uh, this is probably Devolve Flurgal Tox. Look at that meat. Okay, that kind of botches their uh, res pool a little bit.
or at least it did. Now we just have to keep them frozen for a while, which uh, we can pretty easily do. There's the Lorthamar. Copy effects like GIFs would summon a frozen copy. Yep. Oh wait, they don't they don't have minions in deck, right? Oh god, I should have picked a uh, minion here because I could have just jammed the uh, the Neptune on. That might have been an oopsie. Oh, good hit. For me. Might have wanted to heal minions there. Totem? Never lucky. Okay. Uh, the Neptune on coming down is kind of spooky. But I have a lot of good draws coming up. Can take uh, one of the hands off the board at least. It's not ideal. I just need to find the shutter. Yeah, that card. Depending on the order of this, we might be able to... There we go. That should be ideal. Uh, we don't necessarily hit the Cthulhu on the shovel. Oh, wow, this is like the perfect sequencing. Good god. So we go 28, 28. <gasps> okay. Oh. It's fine. Also a good draw here. Where's my Cthune? Not my Cthune, my Cthune. More birds. I hear it is in fact the word. Now 
don't think I want to play the Mutanus all that much when I'm like chaining birds right now. Oh my god, the stats are outrageous. Alright, it's a 1 in 6 to draw the... Cthoon. Not today. Or tomorrow. Understandable. Let's give ourselves a slot on board for the uh, uh, the potential Cthulhu top deck. No! No, I just wanted to see how big it was. Yeah, welcome, Jack. As much as I want to keep the Lord Thamar, I need to find like early game in case it's Pirate Rogue. Yeah, welcome, Grasp. Probably just tempo this guy out to uh, play the Twin Fin. Hey, welcome, Nicked. Obviously that happens. No patches though. Let's that was like a 96-96 if my math is correct. Uh, I mean, I'll trust your math because I don't even know how to count, let alone multiply. Go face, go face, go face. Nice. Really need that off the board. So I'm going to make some uh, pretty yucky trades here. Excuse me. Hey, you're welcome, Oliver. Glad you made it too. That's probably a um, secret passage. Feed the fish, blind lover. Never bring a sword. Good God. Uh, save me. Nope. I'm dead. Yeah, welcome, smoke. Uh, that's not a card you, you want to trade into. But it does not matter. Alright, Flurgle off the top every time. Except for this time. I forgot to mention not this time. <laughs> Feels bad, man. One of these days, I'll play a Cthulhu, right? Hey, yeah, welcome, Rachel. Glad you made it. Hey, on three. Brucon versus Ayan. You didn't 
see anything. What lurks beyond the firelight? Alright, I just need a one drop. Uh, ideally an armor vendor into some card draw for my... Well, Deval could get me there. Hey, welcome, Attila. Happy Feast of Wintervale. Happy Holidays! Happy Feast of Wintervale. Yeah, we, we already went through that. Never bring a sword to a pitch fight. Swiftly! Ruffle, which account to you in Hearthstone? Um, I'm I'm not sure what you're asking. Do you mean what region? Okay. Uh, it's a pretty good devolve into the cannon. A pretty poor draw for the opponent, it seems like. Never bring a sword to a pitch fight. Don't think I want to shuffle this armor vendor in. Yeah, hey, welcome, Lucas. Honestly, even a clownfish or a twin fin would be good enough to uh, make. Oh, GG. to get to get through in this game that's all that matters why Cthune over Denathrius because the deck is entirely built around Cthune Denathrius doesn't really work with what this deck is trying to do in its entirety. So, that's the main reason. Yeah. 
Ever considered playing viewers suggested decks during your stream to test and prove trash them? Uh, yeah, I've done it before. It's when I was, uh, like, had a smaller audience. Uh, as the number of people in the stream grows, it becomes harder and harder to do that. And then on top of that, some of the things that people suggest are just, like, uh, beyond help. But, like, there's no fair way to do that when there are, you know, six or so hundred people in chat. Inevitably, people get feel left out. And then blame me. Didn't want that coin anyway. You think Reno Paladin should still run Renathal? Uh, maybe? I don't know. I haven't, uh, haven't tried it yet. Hey, they finally drew the good card. And then the other good card. Or just shoving the Cthulhu next turn, no matter what. Blood and blunder. I will play a Cthulhu in this stream. Even if it's a... Vanilla statted one. Wait, I could actually die here. I've kind of been goofing around, assuming that I had already won, and that's not at all what's going on. <laughs> okay, we're fine. Unbelievable. They're denying my Cthulhu lethal. I just want to sit here bullying pirate rogues that draw poorly against me. I would rather go into something slower that gives me uh, like time to set this up. Seeker Mage is going to be a little annoying. Okay. 
future waits for no one but me. We just have to pitch the coin here. Fortunately, that's a rigged fair game and create some complications. You okay. It's good to see that that's in their deck. Maybe throw away a devolve to begin. Really having some hand space issues right now is primary concern. And like I'm just kind of worried about objection as well. But maybe I just have to rip the Ravager. Jeez. My god. Oh my god! Please survive. Order was bad, but I do have to test for rig fair game there. <laughs> well, okay. You're hey, welcome, Cope. Mm, it's a bit problematic for me. That is a lot of damage. Uh, we're dead to Cloud Prince. I uh, have to test with the vendor. Or this vendor. Hey, welcome, Goliath. Rick Fair game goes off. Um, hopefully, we can maybe get a grumble down next turn. We can go vendor grumble into snowball. Them board locked. Armor, armor, lightly used armor. Okay. Explosive, oof. Ah! Often just dead here, right? Actually, not true because I do keep them board locked. They are going to be a little bit stuck here with only the two damage from that. Prince goes face. No.
Oh, God. I legitimately don't know if or how I get out of this, other than maybe like a shutter walk draw. Or, yeah, I'm out of snowfalls. Unlucky. Hey, thanks, Bomb Bomb. Glad you enjoyed it. Man, I really wish we had drawn that Cthulhu against the big priest. That would have been, that would have been perfect. But we did just a little bit too well into that deck. We were a little too aggressive. Okay. The Lich King. As long as we don't get disrupted by like Patchwork and Mutanus, this could be good. I definitely don't want to hang on to the Cthulhu. I want to find card draw. What lurks beyond the firelight? It's a good sign for, like, a slowish game, which is what we're looking for. Um, early Mutanus could race the patchwork, maybe? Yeah. Because there are some, uh, certainly some problematic cards for us in this matchup. I don't want to fill my board. It uh, makes Blood Boil better and just kind of could prevent me from playing minions at a certain point where I need to. I could go for a turn 7 Bolner Mutanus. And then pray that the opponent doesn't concede. Or I could just go here into Grumble, and that makes the Bolner playable as well. I think is what I'm going to aim for here if I can. They don't seem too sure about this now. Yep, yeah, it's fine. Paves the way for this, potentially. Patchwork. That is not a card that does anything against me. Oh, please don't get another asphyxiate. I want this to happen so badly. Ah! Unlucky. get the grumble out that's probably most important in terms of like comboing comes another asphyxiate jeez they're the shadow walk deck now Okay, 
Depends on what it hits in deck. That's fine. That's maybe uh, some of the best case scenario I could have off of a um, patchwork. And then just pray we don't run into a Zola here because they clearly are running bounce effects. I Bolner. Just desperately need to find some card draw here. Ooh, okay. Dodge me, Tannis. So I have Ice Fishing, I have Dungeoneer. I don't have any elementals off of the Dungeoneer. Wait, that's fine. Oh my god, that's very good timing. Beautiful, okay, now we're moving. Is this the Mutanus? Okay, that's fine. I mean, that definitely speeds up our clock, but... Why did they clear their own board? Uh, for board space so they could get the brand uh, brand juice. So that they could win the game is what it looks like. Generally speaking, uh, winning the game is a good strategy for uh, winning the game. get enough health there but why did they clear the board <laughs> who knows as usual chat asking the important questions We go again. Hopefully they won't have so much uh well damage this time. Keep uh no, we don't need clownfish, we need draw. This is draw. It's a little bit more aggressive. I don't think I want a turn one spindly still.
Torture waits for no one but me. You slow druids run the Oaken Summons package again or still Renathal? Uh, I mean, I've been seeing more Renathal than Oaken Summons, but I think Oaken Summons might be the way to go. Depends. Uh, this probably needs to be a Devolve. We are taking it. Pretty decent set of Devolves. Uh, I can start chaining Snowballs next turn. You could have traded previous differently the previous turn with the twins fin, twin fins. I mean, I thought I took the most damage off the board, and even if I did, it doesn't change the fact that I lost the game to damage that I couldn't prevent. Board locked is pretty nice here. One more turn, maybe. Have you ever done hand buff Cthulhu? Uh, yeah. Both in Aladdin and Hunter, I believe. I don't want to give up the Spinly when I have Flurgle Tox in hand. Rise and serve your king. Peace. Pretty good response from them. I'm a little bit worried about the uh, Marogar. I'd rather not give up the... Uh... Do I have another twin fin? I don't. Oh. Do I have to give up the Flurgle Tox here, right? If only I had some warm soup. Sure, you played various decks, but have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? I don't believe I have, but uh, thank you, Hedapat. 
for the uh, the super chat. Uh, I need Shutterwalk if I want to win this from here, I think, or something. I don't know. Like, I just assume that they are going to have a Marogar soon. There's the Shutterwalk. Okay, that could get me there. Yeah, this looks like a setup into Marogar. No? Saved? Okay. Is Unholy good? Uh, I did a decent run of games with uh, an Unholy deck recently. I don't think, like, Death Knight in general is performing all that well. Surely this eats the Marogar, right? I knew it. There any other triple unholy cards besides Marigar? Um, probably. I just I don't know like the cards by. I don't have the cards memorized just yet. All right, a uh, quick break and then I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, but uh, I will return shortly. Grave Strength is three. Yeah, Grave Strength is uh, one of the primary payoff cards for Unholy as well, so. Warlock. Okay. Are we expecting a return of uh, Disco Lock? You think the patch changed wild in a meaningful way? Um, I mean, yeah, <laughs> it deleted so far in terms of like what from what I can see, far and away the best deck in the format and uh, the most broken thing in the format. So. So like the only deck with a positive win rate prior to the. Prior to the changes, so it was nerfed. That's going to have a huge impact. Happy holidays. Armor, armor, Let's get our cards moving a little bit here.
It's going to be really tough to beat. Just because uh, curse decks kind of feed on slow grinder decks like mine. I don't know how, but I always seem to just immediately draw the curses when they're played against me like that. Soften that up a little bit. Next turn we can play the Ravager into hopefully something useful. Hey, Raffle, can you try to create a Time Warp plus Grandmaster Romnath deck? Yes. Done. That was the last mage video I played. I'm gonna go here and here next turn. See if I can get the uh, the five mana guy. More bones to gnaw on. I cannot. I don't want that in the raised dead pool. There's what, like three more curse cards? Go in hard next turn with Bolner and Clownfish, play a bunch of Murlocs. <laughs> LOL next turn. Sadly, Hearthstone is purely based solely on luck. If you draw the perfect card, you uh, on the perfect moment, you win. That is uh, what people that are generally bad at card games would say. My elements are frightful. What lurks beyond the firelight? Sorry, what? Okay, that makes me less concerned about disruption, but more concerned about the board. 
Ruffle, what made you choose to be a wild player? Uh, I enjoyed the format. I liked playing wild. I do need to find a Sir Finley so that I can send the Cthune back, but probably sometime after I play the Snowball. Hey, Raffle, will you play Pillager Rogue in the near future streams? Uh, probably not. That's not really uh, the type of deck that I tend to play. Or enjoy playing. Both of those are kind of high impact. Oh. oh, I forgot to attack. How are we ever going to win? Hey, welcome. Just got a life. Uh, do I have? Yeah, I have plenty more Murlocs, including Flurgal Tox. So, uh, once we get the Snowfall out of hand, or maybe even draw like a Shutterwalk would be a good idea to hold out for. I don't think I've ever heard that card be played before. <laughs> that one doesn't sound very familiar either. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Um, probably not worth playing the Bolner here. Oh man, can we eat the Megafin? This is an unwise choice by the opponent. So we're gonna go Bolner, Mutanus, that's seven mana. Then I can go Flurgle Tox. Unless I'm miscounting my mana. In which case, uh, you can all laugh at me instead. And that would be cool. Oh, we got it anyway. First try. Oh, wow. Those are really good hits. Okay. Well, you all get to laugh at me still. <laughs> but we did get the Megafin. They need a health buff, and they can use that on both of them. Nope. They also were generating 1-1s one off of this, so that was really unlucky for them. Okay. That's bad. That's some decent value for them. This trade's over. Or they just do weird things. That make less sense. Armor, armor. 
Okay, let's let's string them along a little bit here. I do want to draw the Lorithamar. Wait, do I? I probably don't, right? I want to actually shuffle the Cthulhu before I draw the Lorithamar. So we probably go Flurgle Tox into Spinly. Oh, that's actually the perfect draw. And we hit the Lord of the Mar immediately. Break it, you buy it. Now I just need to find some more card draw? I don't know. I don't think... I think the opponent has a way out here. We need to we need to keep them in the game, though. Well, that's pretty good for them next turn. I keep just... Went in too hard. One second. One day I will get this combo to work. This is it. This is the game. I think I just kind of have to keep this in case it ends up being aggro. It's not. At least we've got Devolve. And some card draw. Yeah, welcome, Blair. No! Find Flurgle Tux. God, that's terrifying. Nature waits for no one but me. Break it, you buy Second of all, that's <sighs> really expensive. but potentially mandatory. Now oh, this game's over. Tome Band and Nepshawn is still here. Yeah, what we can gather from this game is how much Nepshawn hard carried. Obviously, this is definitive proof that uh, Big Priest needs Mechathun in order, or uh, Neptune in order to win. Hey, yeah, welcome, Marcio. Yeah, comparing uh, Disco Lock and Big Priest is uh, a silly goose thing to do. Unless the comparison is how different the uh, the universe that uh, Disco Lock is in. Your 
too shall be mine. What lurks beyond the firelight? Uh, full mall. All these. Pray that it's not another curse lock. Jeez, these are not the cards that I'm looking for. might be one of the worst possible opening hands that I could uh, imagine drawing. Guess it gets a little bit better into Disco Lock. I meant that they didn't touch it last expansion? Yeah, when it was like a tier 2 deck. Again, the comparison between Big Priest and Disco Lock is there isn't one. Disco luck. <laughs> okay, well, suddenly my hand became like the aggro counter. Don't really seem to want to, to play a cataclysm here when they're kind of ahead on board, so. Makes sense for uh, minion here, from my perspective. Predictable. No. Good God! Why do I keep drawing so poorly? Just like the old school version of uh, Disco Lock. Don't fist me, please, Hal. Not again. Okay. That's actually maybe the best like possible targets for that fisting. I do not want to kill those. Let's go face here and here. Uh, I need to find another copy of Devolve before I just get completely blown out by a uh, quadruple fist of Draxus. Can go Flegel Tox, uh, Lothab next turn. But that doesn't quite prevent the uh, Cataclysm. Does prevent like Solarium into Cataclysm. Okay. Like we're beating aggro, but not in the fun way. Which is just unacceptable. Brucon versus Malfurion. I'm 
must protect the wife. What lurks beyond the firelight? Okay. Druid gives me a little bit of hope that we could maybe set something up. The problem is they just have... Ooh, hello. They have a lot of, like, I win the game buttons that just ended on the spot before I can get set up. So we gotta go a little bit quickly here. Drawing cards is a good thing. What do you think about Beast Hunter in this meta? Is it a good budget deck? Uh, yeah, it's like frequently a very underplayed deck for how strong it is. Um, I think now is the same is probably true. Right, let's just keep drawing here. And then um, just follow out our curve because I have the second. I was going to hesitate on the Macaw, but I drew the second one, which will allow me to copy the Lorethamar potentially. That's scary. Hey, welcome, Niles. Hopefully, no sphere. We tried to aggro Paladin with the new cards. Uh, yeah. Hmm. This looks like a uh, tw or a sphere play. Nope. Kind of running into uh, board space issues already. This is why um, I don't just, like, hero power a lot. This druid kind of takes their time in clearing my stuff. Really, like, I need these to die. Another armor thing? Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna evolve this now. Or just bash in some twin fins. Wait. Oh, God. There's no more room for cards in my hands. That's very bad for me. Draw a three, so we're fine. Just need to, to be able to play the Lorethamar next turn. The problem is that doesn't get enough cards out of hand. Hey, welcome, Nate. It's kind of a rough, rough due process turn for me. May have to take some time off to just like dump cards here. But the problem is that like makes it likely that I draw the Shutter Cthulhu, which kind of does weird things with the Lorethamar combo. Speaking of.
Okay, I overdraw two. Uh, it's possible I just kind of lose the game on the spot, depending on what we draw. Uh, it's also entirely possible they just naturalize that, and then I really lose the game. And hey, welcome, Taco. Hope you're feeling better soon. Yeah, this looks like a naturalized fetch, which is probably just GG. This must be the way. This must be the way. Thank you, Niles. Armor! Armor! Lightly in armor. Huh. Uh, so we do overdraw two still. And then I just need to aggressively dump as many cards uh, as I possibly can. Probably double devolve. Oh my god! What a great draw there. Um, maybe. I just need the, the Finley prior to playing the Shutterwalk, I think, and that can buff the Cthulhu. I don't have any bounce effects is the problem, so it's going to be kind of tough. Not impossible, but not... Okay. Not easy. That's one of those auto-win cards that I was concerned about. Due process, my god. There's no more room for cards in my hands. I do say, I see your loss of Okay, that's a best case scenario, but still. Still not in a good spot. Though a Shutterwalk will continually put more cards in my deck, I guess. The problem is, again, like, I don't know. I don't know how this draw order is going to work. A new Barak. It's the second time I've gotten baited in the past two days by an Astalor burn. Guaranteed to draw the Shutterwalk next turn, so then I play the Shutterwalk next turn. And we figure it out from there. Why does nobody run Daddy D anymore? Well, because he got nerfed pretty severely. Only one car hey, where'd my deck go?
need the Finlay to go soon. Ugh. Need to pick up the macaw. Do idols ramp if they summoned on a full board? Uh, yes, they do. But the opponent is not looking to win with idols, I don't think. I think they want to play the, uh, double Astroloy that they have in hand. Did it hit the Macaw? Did we hit the Bolner? No. Oh, God, the wrong order again. Uh, that's game losing, unfortunately. Oh, they had two Astalors in hand. Idols are just a fatigue buffer in this deck then? Sometimes. Uh, other times they can be the main win condition, but like... Ending the game on the spot tends is probably like priority one for a deck that can do so. Which is what the Astalor is in there for. This hand is atrocious into Pirate Rogue. Oh, we gotta pray it's not Pirate Rogue, I guess. They had a full board, so no Astralor, right? But... But I was taking fatigue damage. They were able to make board space, so they no longer had a full board. Um, I'm just gonna go next, and they could make trades because I wasn't able to freeze anymore. Like there is no outcome there where I win. I'm not sure what the. Deck have you seen the most of? Uh, Pirate Rogue. Brooklyn and even Shaman. Lady Only death is colder than the depths. What lurks beyond the firelight? You're welcome, Big Count. Probably an even Shaman here. Got a decent hand for it at least. No, I didn't even shaman. Murlocs, maybe? And seeing a few of those as well. Yeah, welcome, Riptide. It's a little concerning. It's 
second evolve probably just seals this as a play. I don't really want that to survive a turn. Rip the bandaid off, I guess. Here, here, coinless. Now your turn, opponent. Yeah, welcome, Brandon. I'm sorry, what? see where this game is going. We've got a lot, and I mean a lot, of Lorthamar buffs coming is what I'm excited for. Arena Hunter? This is a uh, Shaman. Gotta play a minion here. No! Do it! There we go. See, you're in this game. You've got card draw.
Uh, next turn we can just play a Shutterwalk, draw a massive, massive Cthulhu. Now we're talking. Fun of making big time plays here. <laughs> oh. Wait, I actually need the grumble off the board, don't I? end up with these cards again. <laughs> Alright, Cthulhu is at 96. But he is soon going to leave hand. Wow. Grumble, have you been working out, bud? Uh-oh. There you go. Have a, have some fun. <laughs> Wait, why is it only a 12 12? What? Who shrank my Cthulhu? Has this all been for nothing? I've been playing this for two and a half hours, what? <laughs> what happened? Did Finley reset it? It must, because these are only... These are fours. Oh, you know what happened? Finley went before the all the Lorthamars, right? I don't know, man. I think Finley resets it. I, I mean, I, I don't. Does it?
I wouldn't think it does because Finley doesn't shuffle, but I guess I'm wrong. Alright, we just gotta keep the Lorthamar then, and the rest of this hand for Big Priest. We're not Big Priest. Fantastic. This is the best possible opponent we could have ever asked for. this Bolner down. I don't really want to like massively draw all of my Murlocs anyway. Ooh. Where did that come from? The Psionic Probe? Ooh. You know what we could use is a Camellias. Unlucky. Alright, I'm sorry Tiny Finn, but I gotta protect the Camellias for a moment. Maybe I don't even want to play the uh, the Gorlock early so that I can um, I can buff the Murlocs with a Lorthamar first. I'm a little bit concerned about disruption though, so it's probably just worth to play this. GG, 45 minute game? I don't think this will be a long game. Somebody, like, I have a pretty reasonable win condition. Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. Uh oh. <laughs> uh. They obviously went for the lore tomorrow, right? Let's do this first. Disco lock still OP with the tampering ban. Uh, no. Uh, it looks like it completely deleted the deck. Maybe not completely, but it, it looks much worse. Um, like, there are other classes with positive win rates in the format right now. So that's good. Okay, well maybe it is going to be a 45 minute game if the opponent drags on all the turns. Nature waits for no one but me. Yeah. Need to make it one more turn without drawing the uh, Shutterwalker Cthulhu. Fine. At least it's not. Uh, maybe they'll assemble my combo. Maybe the opponent will do the combo before I get a chance to. That would be perfect. Or about how today's been going. The time 
has come to dethrone our former master. Okay. Fine with trades here. Got a bird for the word next turn. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, that's alarming. How oh, good that can attack. Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> uh, I got a hero power here. <laughs> uh, concern? Okay, so Cthune should be a 24-24. Okay. Hey, welcome, JMG. Glad you made it through the day. I do love a good study session. Okay. Wait, I, I targeted the wrong thing. Nobody saw that. I'm so used to just going straight to the right of uh, <laughs> the tox pen. Oh, that was a big dumb. Alright, we just need to draw Cthune into uh, play the Shutterwalk. Eat the Astalor. Same thing. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could play the Sir Finley to try and get a better chance of drawing the Cthune. Is that hand or deck? Hand. Okay. I don't have the best option. Well, I have the Shutterwalk in the hand. Never mind. Ooh! Okay. This is it. Let's see your at no, never mind. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that or say that. Well, 
Look at the size of this absolute unit. And it's gone. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> don't concede, don't concede, don't concede, don't concede. Please don't concede. We did it. Oh my god, we did it. Wait, is it not going to be lethal? Yeah, it's lethal, right? Oh god, that armor vendor order almost almost wrecked me. <laughs> Whew. Oh my god, we've done it. It only took uh, 2 hours and 40 minutes. Alright, uh, give me a quick moment and I'll be right back. All right, let's see if we can do that again. That was fun. Probably not. Probably gotta keep the twin fin and uh, definitely the armor vendor into mage. I see you later, Max. Max, thanks for hanging out. The ban was stupid, in my opinion. Uh, what would you have done? <laughs> and why? Like, tome tampering was one of the problematic enablers. The deck was outrageous and needed something to be done. So, better than leaving it as is. It's uh, pretty good for me um, because it looks like it's a rigged fair game here. Ugh. Disco lock was balanced AF. And that is an opinion. It was the 
I don't know if you're being sincere or not, but it was quite literally the antithesis of balance in that only one class, Warlock, had a positive win rate in the format. Whoops, indeed. What about quests? Warlock questline reward would be as well and not instead. Uh, maybe? I think I understand what you're saying, and that could be a solution, but I don't know. Again, I'm not a game designer, I don't pretend to be, so... I don't know... what the best way to uh, fix it would be. So that's rig fair game and not ice block. Much as I want this lower Thamar down, it would probably be irresponsible to uh, make that play. But I do have to go face to uh, protect the uh, against the rig fair game. I think they have to go face here, but I don't know if that wins them the game. I don't know if they have a way to win the game. That certainly doesn't seem like it. Uh, I gotta play around objection here. Easiest test of my life. It's explosive. All right. Whoops. Whoops, indeed. Eventually, the conceit will come out here, I'm sure. The opponent is a coward. Oof. This might be the conceit, in fact. be so so tilted if they concede here although i am off by one damage maybe i should have just tempted the toxfin to play around that yeah 
I played a minion anyway. Cthune! Two games in a row we got the Cthune down. Oh my god, after <laughs> after three hours of trying, <laughs> just suddenly the Cthune gates are open. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Alright, obviously, anyone can see that this is the mirror match, right? Not even. Welcome to Nova. Nice idiot totem. Rukan looking like he got Lorthamard? <laughs> True. Oh. Uh, I think it's actually Big Shaman. Seems fun. Next turn we go Bolner, Mutanus, uh, Clownfish. That's not how mana works. Never mind. Big is this? 6-6? Six, six? We don't want that to die yet. Let's go to Wendy's chat. Oh no! I can't even see. What did we hit? What is he using Banker for? Uh, we want to use Banker to shuffle a minion uh, from the board into our deck. Wow, that was really lucky. I was not expecting to see that. God, we are just... Oh no, this poor opponent. Okay. Not necessarily the best. I could have gotten there. Let's make some board space. And get nine to the dome.
So it's a lot of spells, right? The Lit King. Why? So cruel. At least they can't die this turn. Oh man. Well, they actually are putting up a pretty decent fight. Lorthamar? No. Uh, what do I have? I don't think I want to play anything here. It's possible the snowfall was a just a bad choice. But it is in our Shatterwalk pool at least, but I also kinda wanna get a uh a Lorthamar going as well as a a grumble. Yeah. The inevitable Nazoth is actually looking pretty juicy for them. <laughs> ah, that was terrifying. Should be the last one of those at least. I waited until just now to make that a play, but that seemed worth. Oh, I'm out of spells. God, this is a ridiculous game. Oh my god. In before Army of the Dead? Oh. My god, am I going to lose this from here? Did I goof around a little bit too much? Our shutter walk. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god, this poor opponent. This is just. <laughs> Come on, man. That didn't need to happen. Oh, okay. Well, now they're getting lucky. How is that fair? Alright, let's do it this way. Because uh, we have the banker and the Finley. I think this is the way to go.
Jeez. Okay, not entirely sure what's going to happen here. Why does this have rush? Oh, it doesn't, it, or does it have rush, or am I able to play it? It clearly doesn't have rush because I'm able, to, it's green and it's frozen. Did I draw a Murloc? Yes. Yum. Okay, there's the Banker. Still need the Lorthamar. Well, there goes my hand. Okay, I'm gonna hold here anyway because I drew them a cause. Oh my god. Oh, and they're in the gun. <laughs> oh my god, where's the Lord Lamar? He's got to be in here somewhere, right? Only one thing to do. Surely we draw Lorthamar here, right? How did I get so many birds? <laughs> it must just be the word. God. Lorthamar, where are you? Oh. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> oh my god. That was ridiculous. That we just like after hours of misery, we suddenly just like unlock the ability to play the combo. I I just needed to be patient. <laughs>